All right, YouTube, today we're playing in the Moto PTQ. This is what we're going to be playing. It's more of a slower Death Ray or Death Shadow deck, similar to when the deck was at its peak about a year ago. Not a year ago, probably six or eight months ago. I think the format has moved to a fair, more fair format, which is why I've cut the dismembers for a Terminate and two Color Guns Command to the main with one Tassiger and only playing one Battle Rage. I just don't think that you're going to want the Battle Rage... You don't, you're not going to want to draw Battle Rages regularly, I think, in Game 1 across the format, because you already have game against the Degenerate decks with the Snapcasters and the three Stubborn Denials. So, it's pretty stocked besides that. You got the two bolts. I, I, I decided to go two bolts and three pushes, because I've seen more Jund and blue white red for my fair decks, and having the bolts is less good against Tarmogoyf and Celestial Colony. My sideboard here, i got two Distanfield Strokes for big mana decks. An Eldrazi Tron, the fourth stub for just degenerate combo decks, Rejection for um, for Tron and Affinity, Last Hope for like humans in my grindy matchups, um, Liliana of the Veil here for my kind of uh, just catch all degenerate decks. It's good against um, it's good against degenerate decks, uh, and it's good against like. Jun, but it's not as good as against Jun. It's good in the mirrors, and it, it used to be good, really good against Jun. But Blood Red Elves kind of slowed that down a little bit. And I got Radiant Flames for my um for the creature matchups and affinity matchups. Oh man, I've messed up my thing here. It's, it's underneath my name, but and then I got Battle Rage for another word, clog the board matchups like Humans and Company. And I got two Spell Bombs to help against in PTQs. There's usually more like Dredge because it's just a Usually a pretty well positioned deck, and people don't like playing it in leagues, but in PTQs it does well. So I have two spell bombs for that. It's also good against the in the mirror and the pyromancer decks. And it's often just a fine card to bring in. You know, if you have like bad cards, you can just bring a spell bomb in, and it's got a low opportunity cost, as long as the exile does something. Then you got two lava mans for just the small creature matchups. So I'm looking to play against. Spell-based combo decks today, and I think I've got a sideboard to help me out against, like, Jeskai, Jund, so, and I think even though, you know, those aren't necessarily great matchups, I think I have the tools to compete. So, Moto's tweaking out, so we'll be back here for round one in a bit.